In the Phoenix metro area, the median home size is 1,791 square feet. Can you still buy a home that size at an affordable price? This is John Schlotz with this month's real estate market update. With skyrocketing home prices in the valley, is Phoenix still affordable? The National Association of Home Builders and Wells Fargo published a quarterly housing opportunity index that measures the percentage of homes sold that a family earning the medium income can afford. Normally, affordability falls between 60 and 75 percent. Currently in the Phoenix area, the median family income can afford 62.8 percent of homes sold. That ranks 163 out of 233 metropolitan area is measured. Small towns like Fairbanks, Alaska, and Wheeling, West Virginia are at the top of the affordable housing cities, while 11 of the bottom 12 most expensive cities are in California. Of the 10 largest cities in the country, Phoenix ranks six in housing affordable But what does that mean for your wallet? Let's start with a medium-sized valley home. Over the last month, that would cost you approximately $380,000. Half sold for more, half sold for less. If you put 10% down and finance the rest at today's interest rate, your monthly payment would be around $1,830. That sounds like a lot, and it is, but compared to 2005, that's only an increase of less than $200 a month, even though the median home price for a medium-sized home has increased by almost 15, by 50% in that time. Even if we compare affordability from just three years ago, home prices are up 49%, but the monthly payment is up only 25%. Based on the average valley income, families are making over $800 more a month than three years ago, but paying only $370 a month more for their housing. Though these are just averages, but it appears that Phoenix is still an affordable city. So you may be asking, why is it so hard to find a home these days? It's a supply issue. Phoenix population keeps growing and new construction just hasn't kept up over much of the last 10 years. Some people believe out-of-state buyers with cash are causing the problem, but if we look at the percentage of cash buyers in the under $500,000 market, the numbers haven't changed much over the last five years. Low inventory issues will most likely be with us for a long time. But if it's time for you to make a move, there is still tremendous opportunity out there. And I can help you navigate the ever-changing world of Phoenix real estate. I'm John Schlotz with HomeSmart.